We're going to go ahead and welcome our Toledo Rockets. We're going to let uh, Coach, we'll get uh, Coach uh, Todd Kowalczyk to open with a uh, opening statement, and then we'll take questions for our student athletes. Again, if you have a question, please raise your hand, and we'll get the uh, microphone over to you. Coach? Uh, first of all, uh, a, a really gritty, good win for us. I uh, thought the first half we, we pressed a little bit. Uh, just, I don't know if it was nervous energy or nervous excitement, but kind of settled for some, for some maybe questionable shots in the first half. Uh, you know, that's not like us. You know, we were two for 16 at halftime, you know, at, from three. Uh, that, we're, we're a better shooting team than that. Uh, and then in the second half, I thought we just did an unbelievable job of just guarding. Uh, the whole game, I thought we defended really well. They got a couple long rebounds on us and a couple of uh, drill penetrations, but held them to 39%. Uh, they made some big plays down the stretch, but overall, you know, just proud of, proud of these two guys, uh, proud of Trey, and I thought we had some really good bench minutes. You know, obviously, Luke was tremendous, but Willie gave some great minutes, and I thought Dylan Alderson was huge tonight in the second half. Uh, and let's give some credit to Miami. I think Jack Owens is doing a tremendous job. Uh, you know, he comes in in a, in a rebuild situation and you know, reloads with a bunch of you know, really talented freshmen. I, I told him when we beat him at their place this year, you know, he, he's, you know, he's quickly turned that program around. They play hard, they play together. Uh, and, and they're gonna be a force in this league. And I think the experience that they got by coming to the tournament is only gonna help them. So uh, a lot of respect for Jack. Questions for Jalen Sanford and also Luke Napke. Luke, could you just talk about real quickly what it was like playing such a big role off the bench in such a big game like this? Well, this whole season I've come off the bench rather than starting, and I picture myself as the main guy. I play most, most of the minutes at the five, but um, my job is to bring energy off the bench and get other guys into the game, like Willie. I always get him ready to play, and then we bring energy into the game. Jalen, on the, on the last play there with uh, Sabandi, um, he was making some shots down the stretch. Do you just feel like you just need to get a hand in his face and just do everything you could on that play? Uh, yeah, I just had a lot of confidence in, in guarding him and my defense ability. And uh, I, I had a feeling he was going to be going right, and I sat on it, and uh, he rose up, and I was there, and it was QD. I thought he made some, I thought, you know, Sabati made some really tough shots that even some of the ones he made, we had some guys really defend him well. Jalen, just in these tournament games in the MAC, just what are the emotions like, like kind of a, a roller coaster of emotions, I guess, when you know quite literally the season's on the line? Oh, uh, it's exciting. I mean, uh, our whole team, we've been super excited in practice and uh, try to kind of tame that. You don't want to get overexcited. But uh, I think our guys have done a great job with that and very excited to uh, see what happens in the tournament. And just for both of you, I know how much this game means to you. And just to illustrate the wildness of March, what, what was going through your head when that final shot was, was in the air? And, and then when it missed, what was going through your head? Well, my first impression was great D by Jalen right here. And Amen. then. It had a chance to go in, and I got kind of nervous, but it didn't, and then we got excited. Yeah, when that ball was in the air, I was like, don't go in. I was like, but it did, and it was a tough shot. I tell you one thing about Jalen, he's done, he doesn't get near the credit. Or does Luke, or does Navier. I'll go down the list of how good of defensive players they are. Our field goal percentage, you know, effective field goal percentage is very respectable. And, and Jalen Sanford has, from start of the year to the end of the year, defended. Luke, just uh, how much confidence does this give you just coming into a tournament game and playing like you did today? It for sure gives me confidence. I was kind of nervous coming in, but I got settled in and hit a few shots, and it really gave me a lot more confidence than I had to start with. Well, Luke and Jalen, we'll let you get back to the locker room. Thank you for your time. Congratulations. And we'll continue with more questions for Coach Kowalczyk. Thank you very much. Thank you. Questions for Coach Kowalczyk. Coach, I guess first of all, do you have an update on, on Trey Sean with his with his injury? I don't, but I, I got a lot of faith in our 
trainer, Brian Jones, he's the best in college basketball. Neil Bohor, our, our team doctor, is here. Uh, they wanted to put him back in the game if they thought it was a serious injury. So I, uh, initial diagnosis, I would say it's going to be fine. Uh, Todd, was that his, his knee? That, I don't that know. I'd be honest, I never even asked. Okay. Did it happen after that shot that he took? Did you see? I didn't see the play because I, I was looking at our transition defense, and he was trailing the play. I, don't, I have no idea. Okay. I, can't, I wish I could answer it. Will Trayshawn be ready to go for tomorrow? I fully expect him to, yes. Todd, obviously a lot of emotion, especially from you afterward, when that doesn't go in. These games mean so much to you guys. Can you kind of just maybe, for someone who's not in it, what's the emotion like when that buzzer sounds oh, after it, such a grind of a game? You know, and because obviously we didn't handle some press situations at the end and had some turnovers. Thought we really had some opportunities to score. Trey came down and gave a great alley you pass to, to Willie. And then the next possession, he you know should have made the same play and he didn't, and turned it over and kind of gave them a little bit of confidence. But uh, yeah, I knew that we just got to get the ball in the right guys' hands to get fouled. Uh, you know, next game, I think Morian will handle that press a lot better. He had a bad turnover at the end, uh, uh, but the emotion means a lot because this is it's conference tournament time. Uh, it's mid-major basketball, and so one bid league. Uh, you know, so it's it's every every win. You don't care how you get it, just 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 get it, uh, and whatever it takes. And we had some guys, Dylan Alderson being one. You know, whatever it took tonight, he he did hit some great gap. You know, deep, great gap defense for us uh, in the second half. So uh, uh, a lot of emotion, not just from me, but our players, and that's how we play. That's how we coach. And this is pretty simplistic, but you guys have proven to be a very good team this year. Now as you get into the thick of it with the top teams in this league, just like you guys are, how excited are you for the chance to prove you're a great team? Very excited. You know, and, and uh, we've, one thing about this team, they've been really, really consistent uh, all year long. You know, we had two bad games against Ball State. And I'll make excuses for it. We had some injuries and we had some bad calls. It happens. We moved past it quickly. Those are the only two games we played poorly. It's the only two games. Uh, other than that, we've competed in every single game. Uh, even even our last loss against Eastern Michigan had some, you know, very key plays down the stretch didn't go our way. I mean, our guys didn't hang their heads. They responded and just kept playing. Thank you, Todd. Congratulations. Thank you. Guys. Thank you.